A LANDMARK PROGRAM TO BRING TEACHERS TO NEW YORK FROM THE DOMINICAN REPUBLIC TO TEACH BILINGUAL EDUCATION IS BEING INVESTIGATED TONIGHT BY THE CITY AND BY THE FEDERAL GOVERNMENT. THE ALLEGATIONS INCLUDE A SHAKEDOWN SCHEME AND THREATENING TEACHERS WITH LOSS OF VISAS. CBS2 POLITICAL REPORTER MARSHA KRAMER HAS THE STORY YOU'LL SEE ONLY ON CBS2. Middle School 80 in the Bronx is a school in turmoil. CBS2 has learned that its principal, Emmanuel Polanco, has been reassigned by school's chancellor, David Banks, as city and federal investigators sift through a sea of disturbing allegations that several teachers brought here from the Dominican Republic were reportedly forced by the principal to pay shakedown rent payments or have their visas yanked. I mean, I was floored. It's almost a painful experience uh, because... You know, a program that's designed to change the lives of kids here and the lives of the teacher. Bronx Senator Luis Sepulveda talking about a first of its kind program embarked on by the Department of Education this fall that brought 25 teachers from the Dominican Republic to teach bilingual education in city schools. Ten were assigned to MS 80. It's an important program. Last year, more than 22% of city students spoke Spanish as their first language. Nearly 14% were learning English as a second language. Sources tell CBS2 the probe started when Sepulveda's office was contacted last month by one of the teachers assigned to MS80, charging that she was being forced by Principal Polanco to pay about $1,800 to rent a single room or lose her visa. Sepulveda went to the Department of Education, which took immediate action. Sources tell CBS2 the DOE has obtained emails in which the principal verbally abused one or more of the teachers. On October 29th, Principal Polanco reportedly held a meeting with many of the teachers, telling them not to cooperate with the probe. One of the teachers went back to the Dominican Republic because of the threats. A spokesman for Chancellor Banks, who heralded the program when it was first announced, insisted, quote, we will do whatever we can to protect and defend our staff from mistreatment related to their employment. These people came here from the American Republic looking for a great opportunity for themselves and their family. They left their families, they left their jobs. They should not be subjected to this. Principal Emmanuel Polanco did not return a request for comment. Neither did the organization that brought the teachers here. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. The Department of Education has hired pro bono immigration lawyers for each of the teachers. The agency insists it will continue to recruit bilingual teachers from abroad.